my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're talking about Avery Butler from the Shaytards and her love song. Well, you may recognize her. This is Avia Butler, the teenage daughter of Shay Butler from the Shaytards. The song is called Love Can't Be Chosen. Shay, your daughter's on TV. She's famous. That is so cool. But it is really Shut up. I'm trying to lose weight. Raise the anchor. H bomb ninety four and Grazer Ten on Parker's play on XD on TV. That is so cool. How do you like go forward? How do you how do you go forward? Oh, wait, you were the worst captain of all time. Alright, here I go. Wait, I'm <laughs> what? Is this a thing? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, wait, my camera just died. Is it because it, you were uh, in the water? Is that what happened? These bombs camera just died. Is that a problem? That's fine. We'll just put the worst uh, still photo of you on the screen. This is ridiculous. That is so cool. You gotta watch this episode. I think it's episode 5. You gotta watch it. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I finally have a cooking hour video for you that you're probably going, oh I miss your cooking hour videos, I hear that all the time, and now you get to watch that one, a new one for 2018. It's called What to Do with Your Leftovers. You take two different kinds of leftovers and make something brand new and epic. So, we're going to take this chili my mom made, and it's pulled pork, uh, yeah, pulled pork that I then finish and make an epic burrito. So come along with me. Let's make some fun. But I need to set you somewhere so I can cook. So I'm going to set you on this uh, sea salt bottle thing. So hi, don't care if you can see me. Food is more important. But how are you going to make a burrito with chili? I'll show you. First, I want to take this pulled pork that looks like this, and I'm going to warm it up. So, I'm going to put it in my microwave for like a minute or two. Now, there's not much chili left, as you can see here. But what you want to do is, you want to use it as a leftover. So, to do that, you want to take out all these meat chunks. Just the meat chunks. Because the beans you can make, if you like beans in your burritos, grab the beans too. If you don't, if you like tomatoes, you can do that. And leave the liquid. Liquid you can use as like a dipping sauce. You can put it on top of the burrito and cut it up. Sorry about that, my brother came in to interrupt. If I want to finish doing this, I'm just going to... So basically, take all the ingredients out. Um, if you get the burrito, put the burrito on top, or the liquid on top, and you can cut it up and eat it. If you want to do that with the liquid, it's so good, so tasty. Let me get the meat cooked and get the meat into a bowl, get it cooked. And then we'll be right back. You don't even have to make a burrito with this. You can mix the two meats together and make a sandwich or a soup or something like that. Here's the ingredients I'm going to use for the burrito. You can use anything else you want, like any other kind of sauces or seasonings or lettuce, tomatoes, whatever you want. With this meat, I added a little bit of teriyaki sauce and a little bit of Dorothy Lynch to your liking and stirred it up. That's why it looks kind of liquidy. Now I'm going to get the burrito shell out and then we'll continue the tortilla. 
Number one rule of cooking. As you cook your queen, as you're done with the ingredients, put it away. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, but now we're back in action since my brother went to back upstairs. The one thing I hate the most about recording videos is that when I start recording videos, everybody and their brother wants to come downstairs and bug me and be annoying and be around and make lots of noise. But when I don't want to make a video, nobody comes downstairs for like two, three, four hours. It's like, really? You want to come down when I start the video, but not when I don't. So sorry about those other few clips and me being quiet and stuff. I'm back in action. I'm about to make a burrito. A bu bu burrito. 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 What I like to do, I told you I put the teriyaki and the Dorothy Lynch in with the meat. If you want to, you can take the both meats and mix them together. Then put them in the burrito. It's totally up to you. I like to put a little bit of cheese on the bottom so when it melts, because you, you have to cook the tortilla, after you put all the ingredients in for 30 seconds in the microwave, so you want to want to put the cheese because when it melts, it'll bring, and then you put it on the top, the cheese is the last thing on the top, so it melts together and it keeps the burrito together for if you want to pick it up and eat it, unless you, you can also put the liquid inside, so you can just pick it up and eat it, whatever you want to do. Anyways, I'm going to take this meat, I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom, and I like to do layers when I do my cooking, so you don't want to put the whole meat on there. That one, you take a bite, you take lots of different layers. It's like a seven layer salad, but in a burrito form. So now I got a little bit of meat in there. I'm going to take some cheese. So it melts this meat in just a pinch. So it melts this cheese with this meat. And I'm going to grab, now, if you're making this for somebody else, please use spoons, forks, everything else. If you're making it for yourself, you don't need all that crap. I'm not eating it so it doesn't matter. Okay, got the meat on top. This right now. Okay. And each layer you want to put cheese. This time I'm going to take the barbecue sauce that I'm about out of. This is how you get barbecue sauce to the end when you're about out. You just hit it on the side and it'll go down quicker. And then you just put a little bit on top. And then you... I'm going to grab Mrs. Dash, my seasoning. Sprinkle just a pinch of it on there. Or however much you like. And then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to add the rest of my meat. Just pull pork by yourself, which is going on top. You can um, use it from 50 different kind of meals. Like one day I made a burrito out of this. Another day I made it just a regular sandwich. Another time I put it in some tomato soup. Um, another time I made nachos out of it, just different things like that. So if you do something like this, let me know in the comments down below if you made this dish or if you took some leftovers and added, and added new ingredients to it with the left, two different leftovers or three or four or whatever. Hey, tell me in the comments down below. Tweet me at Twitter me at, uh, tweet me at IamAlien88 and I will be glad to see the photos and or if you have a video you can link me and on Twitter or whatever and I'll see it and I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it. I know I have Thanksgiving break next week on the 21st to the 25th. And I'm going to take that time to make some tacos and just have Thanksgiving with my grandparents, my grandpa, and my aunt and stuff, and then go back to work.
So you just put as much as you like. If you have other ingredients that you that I don't have here that you put in, let me know in the comments down below what they were. Or if you were to make this, what would you put in with it? But anyways, I think I'm just gonna add the whole thing since it's almost gone. And if you if you ever over stuff your burrito, do not worry. you overstuff your burrito, just take a knife and fork and eat it instead of using your hands. Cheese on top, take teriyaki, sprinkle a little bit on, not too much, put it with the lunch in, not too much, put a little bit, sprinkle a little pinch of cheese, on the sauce part, and voila, you got your burrito. Now let's see if I can show you how to fold it. If you like to put the camera, maybe you could see that. But you basically fold in the back, pushing it down. Then you take the sides in like that, and then you roll it to close it in. Hopefully you could see that in the angle that I put this at, so I don't have a good tripod. But I'm gonna put it in the in the I'm about to lose battery, but I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to warm up the tortilla since everything else is cooked. Delicious, but I don't want to pick it up and eat it because. It's kind of messy, so I'm going to use a fork and knife. But I hope you guys feel. And I never usually talk about this. Because I usually don't care, and I really don't care. But I love when you guys comment down below. It means a lot to me. That you guys took the time to do so. And please subscribe if you like my videos. There's a After you subscribe, there's a little bell that shows up next to it. If you turn that on you'll get notifications in the right hand top corner by your name that says hey you have a notification hey my video just came out you can watch it be the first one to watch it you know but I do have videos that are unlisted so you should follow me on Twitter as well I am 88 I am 80 uh, I am alien 88 on Twitter and the reason why you should do that is because if the video is unlisted, I put that unlisted video, the link on Twitter, and say be the first to watch this video before it, it goes public. Um, also, I put unlisted videos in playlists. If you want me to make a playlist for Pacific videos um, of, of just my videos of certain ones, like all my Lego videos in one playlist, or all my cooking hours in one, and all my vlogs in another, all my holiday ones in another, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do those playlists for you. But if I don't get requests, I'm not going to do it. I'll talk to you guys later, and sorry that I have to have my name across my face, but I don't want people print skinning me and putting me on bad websites, or editing my vlog, my videos, and pretending they're me and making me say things that I did not say. So anyways, I'm gonna talk to you later. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. I'm Boney and Boney. Now leave me alone. It's from a show called Wienersville. Sorry, I got a PS take. Make sure at the starting of the video, you wash your hands and if you have long hair, put it up in a ponytail and wash your hands because you want your hands to be sanitized and you want no hair in your food, and if you put your hair up, that won't happen. Those are for people that have long hair. What of advice? Please do it. Okay, for reals this time, I'm leaving. Bye-bye.